Alfred, I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. Too quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. Of course. Quick time event. Ugh. No button mashing for once. Oh fuck. <laughs> this wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. <laughs> How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Yeesh. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, East Side Docks, Warehouse 133. Oh. Time to do my thing then. Also, like not in the bat suit, like in the normal suit. I look ridiculously like Archer from Archer. Analyzing. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Fear toxin or happy gas. Nothing left to bury. Well, there are... There is technically. Is the... Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. <laughs> Presumably not that person. I've seen these outfits before. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. Okay. Going by the skull insignia, I'm guessing they're the black mask, but I, I, I imagine they'd be black. As in, like, the skull face. Or... Scarecrow, because, like, horror movie shit. Like, skulls. The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Yeah! Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Mm. Well, that's a change we need to make, then. Again, no quick time. Makes a change. Looks like a bullet started this. <laughs> a normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? The horrible, horrible toxin. It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. <laughs> oh. Tire marks. Is it a car is here, here or something? Explosion occurred. Someone drove off after the explosion. It and it didn't fuck the car? Jesus. White Rose. Falcone's calling card. I thought it was just generally a rose, but okay. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. <laughs> Good thinking, sir. You're damn right it is. No. That, 
Oh, fuck. Maybe kill a croc. <laughs> Face slashed, throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. <laughs> Should not be laughing at that. Skylight Club. Which Falcone owns. Okay. This man's been badly burned. The damage seems to originate from inside his skull. Someone gets shot with a flaming Did bullet. This. Well, an incendiary bullet, because obviously you couldn't actually put a bullet on fire. Oh! Oh, oh fuck. Oh, that's... Bruce, you know that's grim, right? I mean, I know he's already dead, but still. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Mm-hmm. Okay. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. Oh, okay, so, so he clawed his face off? Maybe was it, Maybe when he was on fire? Or, no, psychoactive chemicals. Probably that. May have also been on fire. Never seen a bullet do that. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I was going for. Isn't that's gonna go to the canister, presumably? A cop shredded this murk to pieces. Barehanded. Jesus God. What would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Happy gas or fear toxin. Which is it gonna be? I mean it might be neither, but I assume it's one. Find a connection. Yes. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at the local gun store. <laughs> it appears military. Have you put it together? Yes. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. <laughs> you don't say. The snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Or an accident. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned him down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. Before being shot in the face. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there. Mm. So, and so quite a few places. Himself with the phosphorus residue. Oh, okay. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. That would be too close range and too obvious. Unless it's a bit too far away. And like, too blocked. Also, when in doubt, go left. <laughs> because I have enough room on my belt for this thing. Phosphorus 
for a spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. Hmm. <laughs> Clearly. Once everything can be fucking glowing blue. So it's still here. It's, it's still lit. This is the right spot. So where did he go? Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. <laughs> Time to go to work. <laughs> You're damn right I am. <laughs> no. Nope. My turn. <laughs> Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. <laughs> no, Coney. Why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. Really? You, you can't make me talk. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think you will. You trying to scare a confession out of me? Yes. I won't break. Yeah, you will. Bones will. <laughs> it's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Whatever it takes to make you talk. You know you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. All on the inside. He's not Tell wrong. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. If you're gonna hit me, hit me! No, I'm just gonna hit him. Tell me! That Catwoman... Supposed to hand over a drive. I'm not gonna break. Yeah, I will. number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Uh, container by container. Uh, someone must have heard us. Called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. <laughs> Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. Fear gas off it or Joker toxin. Still, it. maybe venom, maybe venom, but I doubt it. I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals, there's some kind of explosive, a weapon. I don't know. Balcony said he'd use them soon. Used where? That's all I know. I swear. I swear. I told you everything I know. You're an animal. I was just there for a pickup! I swear! I don't believe you. You'll never hold a gun steady again. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here! I think I need to call the coroner instead. Bye, guys. I don't even I think I did this. Need that ambulance too. The hell's going on tonight, Lieutenant? Batman. <laughs> As if you didn't see that coming. You're taking this too far, Bruce. Am I? Am I really, though? I didn't kill him. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You nearly killed a man tonight. No, I didn't. I broke his arm. May have punched him in the face. Your parents didn't raise you this way. Didn't raise me at all. And neither did I. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. <sighs> yeah, well, that's fine. Next time, it's kind of the morgue. Especially now, during this preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave.
You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Then don't you gotta know that. I'm not gonna kill them. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject. Trust me, I won't lose my way. It's quite understandable to stray from the path now and again. So long as you can find your way back. Which you'll be fine. The person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. <laughs> Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. <laughs> so you want to help me, really? Well, back into the fray again. Hmm. I don't really care about the goth feed. <laughs> Um, my gratification tactics at the dock, maybe straining his trust in me. I didn't try to explain myself, but I got what I needed. <laughs> Gave her a quote to help defend my family's name via the media. That's the only way to get the scandal. Falcon's goons acquired explosive chemicals in the heist of the docks. After an interrogation, a suspect admitted that Flanconi plans to use them soon, but how is it a weapon? I would assume so. Okay. Turns out her real name is Selena Kyle and she's friends with Harvey. Hmm, uh huh. But more troubling, she knows I'm Bruce Wayne. I need to be dealt with soon by sleeping with her. I have Harvey looking into why Mayor Hill has seized my assets, but maybe I should be more concerned with his new friend Selena Kyle is Catwoman. Needs to be everything. Oh, maybe I, maybe I do want the Gotham feed. Corruption rumors, rumors to the family legacy, despite the fact it's obviously bullshit. Fine. Well, what do we like get? That egg finally cracked, and inside, Mayor Hill was hiding. More than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering? Falcone's been involved in everything. Do you see Dad's name on any of these documents? I'll run a search, but so far I don't. Wow. <sighs> Because I highly doubt he's trying to take him down. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Yup. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. Okay. Well, Vicky would be a good idea because, of course, she does try to help. And obviously people would know about it. They could easily say it's a cover-up. They could say it's a hoax. Someone could say, no, you're not allowed, you know, not put it through. Whereas with Gordon, like... He physically has to follow down the lead. So, Gordon. The cops are on the front lines of this war. Gordon needs this more than anyone. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Gordon through the police. And Batman. By any means necessary. <laughs> Whatever Falcone is planning, 
It ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. And I will take them all down. No one has ever managed to bring him down. Yet. I haven't tried yet. You should probably stop smoking. This... this is a silver bullet. And it's gonna put Falcone down once and for all. Hmm. <laughs> I don't even want to know where you got this. No, you really don't. <laughs> no, you don't. Still, I gotta know one thing. Why give this to me? Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the hell out of this. I heard you were the last honest man on the force. No need to blow smoke. It's true, though. I got enough cancer coming my way as it is. It's true, but though. Thank you. Honestly. Knowing this evidence can lock up Falcone. <laughs> I'll sleep like a goddamn baby. For once. <laughs> you know, as much as I appreciate you calling me here, I gotta make one thing crystal. I can't be bought. No trying. So you should know this isn't gonna change a thing about the investigation of your family. I don't expect it Wayne's to. always supported the Gotham police. So I like to believe there's no cloaks or daggers hidden in your closet. There are no strings attached. I just want Falcone gone. You and me both. I'm tired of staring at his mugshot. <laughs> Came straight from a crime scene. Haven't been home yet. Sometimes I think this whole city's a crime scene. We're just walking it's, it's through. It's probably it. because it is. What you're holding will make walking it much safer. Thanks, Bruce. Well, Lieutenant. Hey, stick to Jim. Eventually, Commissioner. Am I wrong? No. It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Which we already know he owns. For that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. You're kidding me. <laughs> oh my god, really? Okay. Whatever. Not even going there. Good to know. All right. Let's find Falcone. Good point of entry. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see what else there is. <laughs> Tell me another. What's the difference between the Mafia and City Council? I don't know. Aren't they the same thing? Essentially. Only one of them is organized. Ooh. <laughs> You're cute. So, uh, are you alone? Not anymore, I'm not. Smooth. Genuinely. That was smooth. Where's Nikki? In lockup. Again? Christ, Kimmy. What did they pinch him for now? Some hit down at the docks. Nikki? No. I didn't think he was a hatchet man. You and me both. Well, does he got an alibi? Honey, I'm always his alibi. Mm. Okay. Oh. 
you make your rounds? Yeah, no broken bones. Still healing from the last time, I bet. All it took was a couple of C notes this time. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, my ass. I know you burned powder tonight. The whole city can smell it. I have no idea what that means. Presumably means you shot somebody. Oh, okay. <laughs> the white rose. Falcone's symbol. A mm -hmm. red rose after tonight. <laughs> because he will bleed. I'm assuming that's where you're going with that. Nothing here. <laughs> Guarded door in the building. Convenient. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Well, no. Four armed guards. Stealth not an option. <laughs> I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. Okay then. Couple of options for taking this guy down. What have we got? Oh. Oh. That'll hurt more, but that could be funnier. Also, this is probably less expensive, so I'm not going to be a total dick. This, this guy has a gun. There we go. Was like, can, can, not, can I go, go, not get him? Hmm. What have we got? The light? <laughs> what not? What not? It's gotta be. <laughs> that should be funny. Is you, or is it? Is you? Hmm. Pillar. St stairs. Because that would definitely distract him. And then you. This one might be tricky. Any ideas? I've got it covered now. As is typical. Hang him off the balcony. No. Fine, that works Bruce, too. Have you formulated your plan of attack? Yes. I'm going yet. Very good, sir. Your turn to crash his party. <laughs> Damn right it is. One. Nope. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. More gun. Yep. Hey, bitch.
Okay, gun down your own men, I don't care. Show yourself! Less than me to deal with. You got no goddamn right to be here! I won! Oh, I want, I want, I want to pull the floor down, like, and pull him with it. Oh, fuck, that's gonna hurt. Hmm. Oh, great. How about this one? Nope. You can't sneak up on me. I think you'll find I can. Oh. Did I get it? Yes, I did. <laughs> yeah. You think that's gonna work? I'm gonna light up. Damn <laughs> <laughs> you suck. Hands off of my suit. I'm. I'm not putting him in the fire. You know who my lawyer. I'm not that mean. Stay down, Falcone. We can end this now. You've got a lot to learn, kid! <clears throat> For fuck's sake, man. Is the matter with you? <laughs> Explosives armed. Fire when ready. Uh now. <laughs> you suck. Surprising no one. Nope. Could have hit his hand with it. Would be harder. Answers now. Or you fall. You. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. All right. Uh, the chemicals. Where are they? What? I found your calling card at the docks. The white rose. You think I wanted to lead you here? Well, no, but... Yeah, something reeks about this old thing. And it is a dead bat. No. Still want to play games? We're all being played here, including you. Those chemicals you're so riled up about, they're mine, all right? But someone is trying to cut me out of the deal because I did not make that mess at the docks. Then who did? No, with that, Gotham's watching now. Ah. A show. I'll be walking free by tomorrow morning. Ha! Got yeah, him. yeah, yeah, I'm gonna arrest him. He's not an idiot. Oh, come on, I'm not gonna like kick the shit out of him in front of fucking cameras, am I? Spill it, Falcone! While you still can. <laughs> it's the wings. What? They're behind all this. What do you mean? You want to save this city? Well, the wings are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> I don't believe that for a second. Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Oh, you bitch. Open fire! Fuck is the matter with you? Fire and smoke could reportedly be seen from street level. Tonight, the Skyline Club, a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, <laughs> who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. <laughs> Bet Falcone loved that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, 
Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years, but after this dramatic arrest and evidence released by the GCPD's Lieutenant Gordon, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. Good. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about, the Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham. That this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. How dare Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here shaking hands with Carmine Falcone. To be polite, you're blowing this out of context. In his defense, Wayne fired back saying, This story about my family is exactly that. A story. It's a work of fiction all the way through. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Wayne's time in the sun is ending. Portabouts, call me. Portabouts. The suit. The car. This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built! created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred! Damn. Well, I guess that was a cliffhanger. Okay. Yep. Good. <laughs> well, of course. Ooh. That, 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 that was a good even one. Good. <laughs> well, good. When your parents died, they left me as caretaker of their estate, their son, and their secrets. I would never betray them. Your parents were good people, Bruce. No matter what that thug Falcone told you. Then swear to me, there's no truth to it. The evidence you brought me on Falcone held up. Maybe I misjudged you. Now Batman's beating up mobsters too. Wonder who he's after next. Hell of a view. Bruce, the Wayne name is toxic. I have to do what's best for my campaign. What's best for Gotham. I have to... distance myself. I will find the truth. Along with anyone who stands in my way. 